Hey there guys, I'm Manny from Auto Star here in Waynesville, North Carolina. This is Michael Letterman, sidekick extraordinaire, and you guys already know Katy Perry. We are gonna show you guys today how to take off the tops of a Jeep Wrangler. So first things first, all you have to do is start releasing the levers. So we drop that lever here and it's super easy. As you can see, me and Michael are just releasing the levers. And the good thing about the new ones are they're super light frame. You just take it up like that and that's it. And I'm gonna show you where you guys can store this. Like I said, this is very light frame. There's nothing heavy about them. They used to be heavier, they're super light. We're gonna show you there is a storage bag here in the back that Michael Letterman's holding. Um, that bag is for your tops. So you can slide them in there, store them super easily. And once you do, you can just slide the tops into the back. So now we're gonna show you how to take the back part off. So Letterman's gonna show you that you have to release uh, just that red trigger there so that you could pull the wiring harness. And the second hose has just a little clip button that you can push and it releases immediately. Pretty simple, pretty easy to do. Um, just note that you have to do this before you take off the back of the hard top. Well, Michael's going to show you how to take the bolts off and he's going to show you how we can start taking the, the back of the hard top off. So you get this uh, tool kit that comes with, with the Jeep. Uh, all, all the fittings fit right here. So the first one you're going to take off is this side and you can get it loose very quick, see? And then the rest of it's just finger tight. Same way on the other side, Manny, if you want to loosen that one up. Where is it at, right here? And see, I'm standing down here, I can't even see, and it's easy enough to use. Yep, and see, once you get it loosened up, you can just unscrew it with your fingers. Just so you know, this is what your tool kit actually looks like. It does have your socket wrench with all your tips in here, your different sizes, so that you guys don't lose your bolts. Michael Letterman's gonna show you exactly where you put your bolts in here. You keep them here, it says roof right here, door bolts right here, so it's very easy to store, so you don't lose your bolts, you don't have to worry about that. Michael's gonna show you which bolts you have to remove so that you can actually get the rest of the hard top off. So you have six more in the back here before you can get to your front, okay? So you loosen them up here. See how simple that is? And then you can start unscrewing that. And that's so the six along the frame. Six here, three there. And there you go. So I'll get that. Now that we've taken all the bolts off of the frame and the wiring harness, the next step is just to open the doors. As you can see, you'll probably, you'll, you'll definitely want to have uh, somebody help you with this. So you can put your hand on the bottom of the frame and lift. Be careful not to pinch your, pinch your fingers. Grab this side right here and start to walk back. Easily drop. And now you got yourself a Jeep that you could take on the parkway. And Tell me that doesn't look like an amazing ride. Why don't you come in here and show them what it's like from the inside. <laughs> Again, this is Manny from Autostar Waynesville. This is Michael Letterman. You can see any one of us for your Jeep needs um, and come back next week and we're gonna show you how to take the doors off of a Jeep Wrangler.